right, now we're about to wrap things up. Speaking of wrapping things up, there are certain people you need to make sure a space looks amazing. They literally wrap the space up with things that make you feel joy every time you, you know, enter a room. And one of such people is here with us today. Tayo Kimberly Adejimo has taken the world of interiors by storm. She's also into property management and premium realty on another level. But when it comes to lighting and interior decor, I don't think I've seen photos and uh, you know, videos as beautiful as this in a very long time. It's a pleasure to have you in the studio. Thank you so much. Good morning. Welcome. Now, you also look a vision. Uh, Thank for you. A... <laughs> I love what you're wearing. <laughs> it, it, it says a lot about someone uh, when they can also package themselves a certain it does. way. Mm -hmm. um, when you enter a room, a plain room, yeah. someone invites you into a room, what's the first thing you do? The first thing that comes to your mind is what the room could be. Okay. That's what just flushes down your memory. What could be? What can this place transform to? Mm. What can happen? Mm. So you just have all sort of ideas. Then when you find the person that actually owns the space, yeah. it will just finish the remaining category for you of the life and mm. the very soul of the space. But it's, it's a kind of business that is dependent on so many little things. First of all, finance of the person that wants to change the space. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, the style and sense of style or lack thereof yeah. of the person <laughs> yeah. paying for the space. Mm -hmm. And then also maybe probably even your mood about the place. True, mm -hmm. true. But what that, what that does for us is this, is that um, once there is, um, w I believe there is something about your budget. Mm. Any budget can create anything. Okay. It depends on your mindset and what you want to achieve. Okay. No matter how much you have, you can proportion it in the best way that will achieve exactly what you want. Okay. Because there are different versions of different things. Like mm. in, in the market, they will say there is um, five different qualities mm. or ten different qualities. Okay. So in whatever quality you can afford, there is a way you can put things together that will make things nice. In okay. fact, just being clean alone is an interior design. Mm. Mm. <laughs> just plain white walls. Just plain white walls is a design on its own. But... To gain this kind of experience, you must have gone through a lot of hurdles, uh, a very interesting journey. Do you want to let us in on how it started? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, when I started, I started with Shortlet Apartments. Okay, okay. And how I stumbled onto Shortlet Apartments, mm -hmm. I lost my neighbor. Wow. I did the neighbor's house. He only lived in the house for about two months. Wow. And he passed away, unfortunately. So the wife was like, she doesn't stay in Nigeria. Can, mm -hmm. I, can we use this for a Shortlet? And that was how I started my company. Wow. And from short light apartments, I graduated to doing interior design, mm -hmm. you know, because I have to set up these apartments. Yeah. So the more I set up the apartment, the more I said, you know, I'm a very creative person from time. I love to play with things, to draw with all sorts. Yeah. So I'm able to, my creativity came out more from doing interior design. Okay. And then from doing interior design, I started looking for lightings, hmm. special one, you know, because I don't like everything, every day or common things. I like unique, exclusive, yet affordable, you know, like a treasure find, okay. you know, a pieces, sort of. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I always look for. But unfortunately, I rarely get them. So you started making lighting? Yes. So now I start making lightings because wow. shipping is usually so expensive. And I, I, I really want to encourage Nigerians to try and use their hands more. Okay. You know, okay. have a farm or a poultry that lays egg, even yeah. if it's 10 layers. Yeah. You know, just get involved with nature because mm. nature is rewarding. Mm. But the more we neglect nature, you just want to buy, buy, buy everything, you know. And it's therapeutic as well, using our hands to do anything at all. So you, you obviously sound very hands-on. You're very I involved in the entire process. Yes. But that can be overwhelming and uh, exhausting and probably even more... Should I say expensive for you? Because mm -hmm. time is money. Yes. So when you have huge projects, how do you source for staff? Do you contract these things out? Do you outsource? Or do you have your own uh, team that work close with you? We actually have a team. Then we have a lot of contractors that we work with. Okay. There's something my company is really core believe is, is partnership. Okay. I believe in collaboration. I feel that togetherness, takes us there faster. Mm. So there's so many companies that we've partnered with currently and in the past. Okay. So without all these people like Creto Feed, Fontos Energy, okay. iFix, these are partners that we've worked with okay. and we currently work with. 
So anytime we have a huge project, yeah. we call all the hands and bodies, the, we call the head, yeah. the shoulder, the <laughs> neck, the hands, and together we have a very fine body, you know, and I we love it. create something nice. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. Just looking at some of these designs, this olive green, for instance, that yes. olive green, it just pops. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I now look at my, I look at our set mm -hmm. here. I'm like, okay, <laughs> if you look at this set, what would you change about this I'll set? I'll change a lot of things. A lot of things? Yes. Because like for me, I think less is more. Oh, okay. Just look at you. Okay. On you, you only have two colors. Oh, okay. The emerald green mm. and pearl white. Yeah. And your dark hair, your natural skin color, yeah. everything just complements. And Thank this you. is your color. Thank so you. that is an interior design. Mm. Less is more. You don't mm. have a lot going on. Mm. So in this place, we have there's so many things going I'm on. Not... <laughs> so we just need to dial it back down so just that each and in, uh, everybody that comes to this set, yeah. their personality can shine okay. and you can actually see them more hmm. because that's the essence of this set. Okay. That's what you should okay. do. Okay. 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 <laughs> We're hearing you. We're listening. We're listening. I think we should start paying for consultation. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing Nigerians uh, don't like to pay for. Aha. Uh -huh. I was actually going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I've approached uh, an interiors company before, and I said, "Oh, I have I have a kitchen I'm trying to do," and I, but they first of all charged me for a consultation, mm -hmm. and I was like, <laughs> "I can't finish this kitchen without Myself. money." <laughs> I know. So, I know. how do you find a price point? Okay, so this is what I do. I I always believe that, especially with out of Nigeria is now. Okay. I try to be considerate. And I really like to encourage people to live in better spaces. Mm. So it costs me nothing to actually want to help you. Okay. However, my time and my ideas, mm. they come from all over the world. Mm. I've been, I, in fact, before I clocked 30, mm. I ensured I visited at least 35 countries. Wow. So, I, and when, any time I go to these places, what I actually look out for is the architectural, their design, the essence of that place. Every place has an essence. Mm. Nigeria has its own vibe, like nowhere else. Mm. You're, what you feel, the energy, the yes. excitement you feel here, you the buzz. You can't feel it anywhere You can't else. feel it anywhere else. Mm. You need a multiple location <laughs> joined together that is Nigeria mm. to give you that. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, so that is... Uh, that that's is, that's what people are getting. The, yes. when, when, they, when they have a conversation with you, yes. when you sit down with them, mm -hmm. um, they're not just getting ideas. They're yes, getting, they're getting much more. Okay. Right. Sometimes, it's even, sometimes I, I always tell people consultation mm -hmm. or therapy is like therapy. Okay. Because it kind of brings a part of you that you don't even recognize or realize or pause to check out mm, mm. that we see. Mm, mm. You understand? So that is what you get when you consult with us. Now, I want to talk a little bit about difficult, or mm -hmm. should I say challenging clients. Yes. I won't call them difficult clients. Because every client has what they want. Yeah. Uh, but they have different moods. Yes. And managing people when it comes to interior, I feel can be a lot of work. It can um, be. Because what if you have someone who money is not an issue, mm -hmm. but they just can't uh, make up yeah. their mind? Yes. How so what it with? what it is is for me, like in life, I feel being upfront about everything mm. saves you a whole lot of issues. Okay. So you talking about certain things and anticipating what they could do from experience. Mm. You can be proactive in nature mm. in handling them. Mm. So by setting certain standards and setting boundaries and putting a timeline on your work. Okay. So that is why we do consultation because this gives us a room to talk to you about the process, about your expectation, mm. about what you could come and do and what will be the consequences for that. Yeah. So all these things are in the document or in what I need to tell you. Mm. So no, 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 don't worry, I don't want contortion, I just know what to do. Just do the kitchen white, do the kinik on then. Mm -mm. So what you need is not an interior design, you just need a furniture person. Oh, wow. So, so those are two different things, because when you call an interior design or interior decorator, yeah. they are, they are, everybody has, is a different thing. A decorator now just sets up this place. A designer has to plan the place architecturally. Mm. Yeah. You, yeah. Also. Uh, you know what? Before, um, you know, people have to probably credit us for all this information you're yes. giving me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would love to hear everyone's thoughts about uh, this conversation. Uh, it's, it's really great to have you. Thank you so you. much. Please uh, check out our handle. That's Wake Up Nigeria TVCE or use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, Wake up Nigeria on TVC. Got it, got it. <laughs> and please, once you use the hashtag, we'll do what we can to respond to your questions and contributions. Thank you so much for joining us on SME today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Kimberly